All right, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a reset progress button in Roblox Studio. So someone can click this button, say yes, yes, I want to reset my data. And whatever values they've got in their players with their leader stats, you can set those to zero. So the first thing we're going to do is make a GUI or a screen GUI in the start of GUI. So if you insert a screen GUI, then I'm going to turn on ignore GUI and set and call it reset progress. And then in this, I'm going to add a text button and I'm going to add a frame. So I'm going to call this text button prompt button. And I'm going to call the frame confirm frame. And now I'm going to change the property to the confirmed frame. So I'm going to change the anchor point to 0.5, comma 0.5. So it's anchored by the center of it. And then I'm going to make the size 0 0.5, comma 0, comma 0.5, comma 0. And then I'm going to make the position 0 0.5, comma 0, comma 0.5, comma 0. So same as the size. And in fact, I might change that so it's 0 0.3, comma 0, comma 0.5, comma 0 for size. And then now this button, uh, and I'm going to change the size to 0 0.175, comma 0, comma 0 0.1, comma 0 for this button. And then I'm going to turn on text scaled. I'm going to change the text just to reset progress. And I'm just going to put that button here. And now in this frame, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to add a text label. I'm going to set the size of that to 1, comma 0, comma 0 0.6, or 0.7, sorry, comma 0. And then in this text label, I'm going to make the text scaled true. And I'm going to change the font style to bold. And I'm going to change the text to, are you sure you want to reset your data? And then a question mark. And then I'm going to add a, two, well, I'm going to add two buttons. So one for yes and one for no. So I'm going to add a text button. I'm going to make text scaled yes, and I'm going to say change the text to yes. And then again, I'm going to change the size to 0.4, 0, comma 0.2, 0. And then I'm just going to put that one there, and I'm going to duplicate it with Control D. And I'm going to put it there. And now I'm going to click on this yes one on the right, and I'm going to change the text to no. And then I'm going to name them both to whatever their text is. So for the no one, I'm going to call it no. And then for yes, I'm going to call it yes. So this just means we can tell which one's been clicked. And now that's just really simple GUI. You can make it look however you like, but I am just going to make this not visible now. So in this screen GUI now, I'm going to make a local script and I'm going to call it control script. Just to control what's happening. Now I want an event that fires every time this button is clicked. So I'm going to say scripts.parent.prompt button dot mouse button one click colon connect function uh, like that. And then just open up this function and I'm going to say script.parent.confirmframe.visible equals not script.parent.confirmframe.visible. Right. So what this is saying is it's going to set this frame that we've made, the visibility of it, to whatever it isn't currently. So if it is currently visible, it's going to become not visible. Or if it isn't currently visible, it's going to become visible. So now I'm just going to say if... And then again, script.parent.confirmframe.visible is equal to true. Then we're going to see if this yes or no button has been pressed. So I'm going to create two variables at the top, one for yes and one for the no button. So local yes equals script.parent.confirmframe.yes and local no equals script.parent.confirmframe.no. Right, now I can say yes.mouse button one click, colon connect function. And in here, then I can write some code in here or no dot mouse button one click on connect function in here right so in this one where it says no dot mouse button one click we're just going to put script dot parent dot confirm frame dot visible equals false so if the player chooses not to re reset all their data then we're just going to get rid of this frame but if they do choose to reset their data we're going to fire a remote event on in replicated storage to erase their data so first of all we need to make the event in replicated storage so in replicated storage add a remote event and I'm just going to call that reset data so now in this control script on line 9 so yes to mouse one click in this function here we're just going to say game dot replicated storage dot reset data colon via server so this is once we've written the next script it's going to trigger a an event on the server and it's going to make it reset our data so we're done with this local script now we can make a new script in server script service. I'm going to call this reset data script. And now in here, we can pick up when this event is 
triggered. So if we do game dot replicate storage dot reset data dot on server event colon connect function, and then in these brackets here we can take the player object so player, and then now we can actually do the erasing of the data. So first of all, I'm gonna just make it print uh, erasing, and then two dots player dot name dot dot it's data. So it's just saying we're erasing their data. Make sure when you're adding this player's name here, you format it exactly correctly. So closing the strings and then separating it with two dots to make sure it's adding it to the string. Uh, if you don't do that, it will go wrong. But now what we need to do is actually erase the player's data. So for your game, whatever leader stats or whatever values in the player you want to change to zero, you can do that. But for me, it's just the stage in the leader stats. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to say player dot leader stats dot stage dot value. Again, because this is the one that I want to change to zero. I'm just going to say equals zero, and then I'm just going to make it print erased. So, again, what this is doing is in this control script, whenever the player clicks this button to reset progress, it's going to bring up that frame, so the confirm frame, and if it is visible, then this script says, if the yes button is clicked, then reset the data, but if the no button is clicked, get rid of that frame again. And then if it is clicked, it finds this event on the server, or on find this remote event, and it's picked up on the server, and it erases the player's data. So if we now play the game, so if we now play the game, you can see if I click this reset progress button, and then I click no, it doesn't reset anything. But if I then click this button again, and are you sure you want to reset all your data? Just click yes, and there we go, erased. Squidding's data has been erased. Excellent. But you can see this still stays here, so if we want to make sure this disappears, after you click yes, what we can do is we can go back into this control script. And here, what we're going to do is we're just going to say script.parent.confirmframe.visible equals false after you fire the remote event. So now if I test this again, just, just to show you, you can see that first of all, my stage is back because I haven't had it saved. I've just had it set to five every time a player joins. But now if I click reset progress and I say yes, you'll see the GUI disappears and it's set my stage to zero, and in the output, it says it's erased my data. So that was how you can make data erasing in Roblox Studio, so setting, setting players' data back to zero so they can restart, reset their progress, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, then subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.